<clears throat> well, hello, 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 everyone out there. How is everyone doing out there in Tarot Land? Are you guys doing well? I hope so. I hope everybody's out there doing peaceful, well, being peaceful, not allowing anyone to steal your joy. I hope the day's being productive. And I'm sending you guys peace, love, and light. Of course, y'all know me. This is your girl Zengaya, the Zen Libran. And I want to welcome you guys to my channel, Narcissistic Abuse Tarot. What is going on, y'all? You know, thank you for joining me for Medusa's message. All right. Well, you know, guys, Dusa, Medusa is, well, was, and is an oracle. She is the original nun that sat inside of the temple, that lived in the temple, and got the intimate, um, had an intimate relationship with the divine. And the divine gave Medusa messages on how he wanted creation to run. I mean, the divine gave Medusa messages from grooming to rearing your children to balancing um, the, the, um, your food, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, what you eat to take in your body, how to take care of your hair. I mean, from the biggest things to the smallest things, Divine gave uh, Medusa these messages and Medusa gave these messages to creation and creation run like a, ran like a well oil machine. This is when the matriarch was in a rulership. This is in the golden ages. Okay, this is when there was Lemuria. Okay, this is the dynasties, you know, um, things didn't fall until the human, which is the he man, which is the male, took rulership. Okay, well, I am an oracle, I get messages from the divine. I usually put these messages in a dream journal or manifestation journal uh, for my own spiritual growth. But the divine has asked me to release these messages to the public. I am more than obedient to the divine. So I'm releasing them to the public. And I hope that it does exactly what the divine wants it to. I hope it offers some healing and some guidance to whomever it's supposed to reach. Okay? Well, if you guys watch me, you know that I get these messages. Um, they can come sporadically or they can just all, when it rains and pours, comes in. You know what I'm saying? I got a few, you know, so I'm going to put them out for you guys today. And um, the first message that I got, that Medusa got, was mole. Hmm. I was like, what? Mole? Okay, Medusa. <laughs> You know, a mole is a person who works for an organization. The person works for an organization and gives secret inf information about it to other people. Okay, so they pretend like they're down with the clique that they work for, but they're actually there to get information about the inner workings of the clique and, and um, give it to its enemy. So they, you, they work for the enemy. Actually, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you can call this person a spy, an agent, uh, a secret agent, or an undercover agent, basically. You know, but this person is a mole. Okay? That's what, that's, that's what I got, y'all. And I'm like, what? I said, okay. Well, let's get this tarot out here, Medusa, and let's see. What is going on with a mole? We got a mole in the house. We got a lousy person that's pretending to... Uh, be down with somebody or something, but they actually work for the enemy and they're just around this particular organization or around this particular people or around this particular person just to get information and take it back to people that are against this organization, that are against these people or that are against this person. This is a lousy, stank ass person. You know what I'm saying? A lousy person. Frenemy, I want to call them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I don't not know all about that. You know, I just heard sleeping with the enemy. Hmm, okay. All right. This is a lousy, stank-ass person. You know what I'm saying? The worst. The worst of the worst, okay? All right, Medusa. Let's see what this chump-ass person... Um, what you talking about about this chump-ass person? You know what I'm saying? Let's get the word. Let's get the message, y'all. Hmm. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's why you got to watch who's in your en energy, especially us divine feminines, because 
people can just be coming around you just to see how you work or what what are you doing so they can go back and tell other people. I mean, it's just ridiculous. You know, I mean, we outnumbered, y'all. And um, that's why I live my life. Everybody's guilty until proven innocent. You figure deal me? You figure deal me? Because <laughs> you ain't just finna be around me, cuz. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get this message out here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I tell you, people are just, they don't know our life, Divine Feminine. They don't know our life, girl. I'm telling you. You got some some you got some people uh, uh from a church community wicked ass church people they was trying devilish people i want to say these are devil worshipers you know what i'm saying but they actually run the church you know what i'm saying these people are just i tell you boy the church people are the worst people you know what i'm saying they, they try to pretend like they holier than thou but they are the people that be turning other people down you know what I'm saying? And that's what's happening right now. You know what I'm saying? You got this demonic ass uh, people in the church. You know what I'm saying? Um, that um, spread rumors trying to ruin somebody's reputation. You know what I'm saying? Just unnecessary drama. Just spreading rumors, lying. You know what I'm saying? Just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Um, they try to persuade people to look at you a, a certain type of way collective you know what i'm saying um they're very demonic you know these are bible thumpers you know what i'm saying they thump that bible but then they close that bible and they go behind the scene and do some dark arts you know what i'm saying they spread rumors they talk about people these are church people they supposed to be loving and caring and you know of the creator but they're not they demonic that's what i'm saying if y'all in these churches y'all need to come up out these damn churches okay okay you got this Eastern star here. She could be a first lady of the church. She's with this water sign, you know, and they're both devilish. You know what I'm saying? This is a particular woman that he's taking care of. You know, he could be a pastor in the church. You know what I'm saying? These are somebody, somebody that he has a foundation with, that uh, he laid down roots with, that he lives with uh, uh, more than likely. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's taking care of her. This bitch don't do nothing. She don't work. She don't do nothing. She run up the damn credit cards. He got uh, uh, so many um, irons in the fire over there taking care of her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she don't do nothing but just spend money, spend money. You know what I'm saying? This person is just a dumb, this the man is just a dumb ass person. Easily influenced, um, delusional, and just a plain loafer. You know what I'm saying? Just a plain loafer. Um, this person couldn't defeat you. They've tried. You know what I'm saying? Um, these people were sending chaos your way um, all around your home, uh, sending chaos into your life, you know, uh, trying to get you to juggle your finances. But through all that chaos, you stood firm. You know what I'm saying? Um, you you buckled down. You made a budget. And you made do with what you had. You know what I'm saying? And this, this person here, his spell work didn't work. You know what I'm saying? And now he over there stuck with her. You know what I'm saying? He actually, um, um, this person, um, they was coming up against you, trying to ruin your reputation. You know, trying to ruin your reputation. I don't know. These people are trying to get close to you or something to see how, how you work. You know what I'm saying? Um, so they can go back and um, tell the enemies, which is this church group. Um, so they can find a way, so they can get your weakness, so they can try to bring you down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they put a lot of time and energy into this, but they wasted their time. 
especially this bitch, this Eastern star over here. He's a Mason. We got Masons and Eastern stars, okay? This bitch, you know what I'm saying, this first lady or whoever the hell she is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she the main one because she know her man want to lay down roots with you. You don't want her stinky ass man. You don't want her a lying ass, uh, false prophet ass man. And that's what these people are, false prophets. You know what I'm saying? They be hallelujah, but then they go behind people back and ruin their reputations and spread rumors, just unnecessary drama. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just pitiful. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want you to be stable. She don't want you to be stable. But look at her, bitch. Everything you did, it didn't work. You wasted your time. It was a fruitless endeavor. You know what I'm saying? And now you're going through karma, looking at the choices you made. You know what I'm saying? And then this masculine looking at the choices he made because he made, he trusted some people that he shouldn't have trusted. And he got the nerve to want to have some stability with you. You don't want, you don't want him. She don't want your man, uh, Eastern Star. You crooked ass false prophets. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if it's him or her, Divine Feminine, but they are trying to come around you, come into your life, and pretend like they're your friend, but they're not. You know what I'm saying? They just want to come around you and see what you're doing so they can go and report back to these Masons, you know, these people, so they can try to find a way to bring you down, learn your routine, learn how you work, learn what you do, so they can find um, some way to bring you down. This is a frenemy. These are people that are coming around trying to portray like they're your friends, but they're snaking you behind your back. These are moles, undercover agents, secret agents. These are lousy, stank-ass spy, and they spy and they watching you around your home. You better believe that, trying to see what you're doing, where you're going, who you with, you know what I'm saying, so they can try to come into your life and uh, sabotage it. Ridiculous, weak-ass people, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, you laying back chilling, you know what I'm saying? I ain't worried about these people, and they over there doing spell work. <laughs> you know, let's get some more energy out here, y'all. Ridiculous. Yeah, this Bible thumping ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? You wasted your time, bitch, and that's why you going through karma, bitch. Don't nobody want your man, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't nobody want him. That's why you can you getting a message of concern, bitch. Stuff about a finna about get ready about finna change. You know what I'm saying? It could be you getting a, a message from the police, the FBI or something. But you finna have a new beginning, bitch. And your new beginning is that you going to jail. You going to jail. He going to jail. Somebody going to damn jail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever you doing. Don't let these people close to you, Divine Feminine. You don't need no new friends. You don't need no new friends. You're a grown-ass woman, and you done made enough friends. You don't need no new friends. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you better, you're like my motto, everybody proven, everybody is guilty until they're proven innocent. You know? And then her man want to, um, this is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, want to be in a, a relationship with you. Boy, get your ass out of here. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, please. You know what I'm saying? And that's because you're wealthy. You know what I'm saying? You're wealthy. You're in your masculine energy right now. you manifesting your ass off. And you are wealthy. Or you're man on your way to be wealthy. You're manifesting. And you're uh, manifesting a great fortune. That's why this bastard want to um, get in a um, commitment with you. You don't want his ass. She don't want him, baby. You know what I'm saying? But things, this is the end of this, this connection. It, whatever you have with this masculine, it is a, it come to a conclusion. Things have changed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you have moved on. And um, you don't want this man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't been trying to get with this man. Okay? This woman is jealous, envious, low vibing ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? They need to get us some business. And, and I don't want these people, they devil worshippers or something. In this church, you know what I'm saying? This old crooked ass church, you know what I'm saying? There's something on the um on the on on you know out front, but in the behind the scene, they doing all type of stuff in this church. You know what I'm saying? These are demonic ass people. You know what I'm saying? Spell casters. You know what I'm saying? And this is what they do. This is their occupation. These people, their occupation is the church. These people in the church, y'all. These people in the church. That is trying to get close to somebody and pretend they they friend and they not. 
You know what I'm saying? These people are false prophets getting money from people. You know what I'm saying? Talking about some hallelujah, but they're going around here trying to ruin people's reputation. It sabotage their life. Spreading rumors. Doing spell work. But their occupation is the church. You know what I'm saying? Get your hallelujah looking ass out of here. You know what I'm saying? They plotting. They plotting because they don't want you to have this new beginning. But these are church people. These are church people, y'all. Plotting and scheming and lousy. These are church people. These false prophets, swindlers. You know what I'm saying? People that are exploit people. You know what I'm saying? And they all, you know what I'm saying? It's something that you do for your occupation that they are against you about. You know what I'm saying? See, these are religious people. You know what I'm saying? They're full of it. You know what I'm saying? But behind the scene, they do spirituality. But they work on the darker side of spirituality. You know what I'm saying? And they mad at you because you're on the lighter side of spirituality. You could be a psychic or mystic or something. You know what I'm saying? And they're trying to ruin your reputation because you are the truth. And they are the false prophets. Okay? Your light shines on their demons. And they don't like that. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to prosper and have a well-balanced life and move ahead in life. They want you to juggle your finances and suffer and everything like them. And so this bastard, this masculine, and this nappy-head-ass bitch over here doing spell work on you. And he probably, he got an STD. He got fire coming out of his penis. You know what I'm saying? But they worried about you. Somebody of the light. So ain't no telling what these people are doing behind the scene. But these people in the church. You got a pastor here that's in the church that his penis is, is burning fire. You know what I'm saying? And their occupation is to be false prophets. Spreading, I mean, you know, spreading rumors, hurting people's reputation. But they supposed to be at the church, y'all. Hmm. All this pastor do is go around slinging D everywhere. He community D, but he's supposed to be the pastor of the church, y'all. He's screwing everything up in there. Probably done gave everybody up in there an STD. You know what I'm saying? And he worried about your life. Don't want you to go ahead. You know, because he's a demonic. He don't want you to spread the truth. He's a mole. He's an agent. He's a bitch-ass agent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's a bitch-ass agent. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 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 This person wants you to open up a pathway for them. You know what I'm saying? So they can get back in this connection with you. You don't want him because your being in a connection with you will lead to prosperity and abundance. And they want you to open up so they can get on this pathway with you. This is a Mason. I'm seeing a number 33. Yeah. But he got a woman and he burning. You know what I'm saying? Got an STD. You know what I'm saying? What the hell are they doing in that church? You know what I'm saying? Girl, please. Concerned about you. He concerned about you. He's in bad health. I told you that. He's burning. You know what I'm saying? You know? Girl, please. But he couldn't defeat you. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't defeat you because your ancestors are right behind you. You know what I'm saying? This person has been defeated. This person is a stupid ass fool. He's delusional and he's just a dumb ass, just a dumb, immature, stupid ass. You know what I'm saying? Just a, ugh, you know, just a person that just needs, just a waste of skin. That's what he is, y'all. That's what he is, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And, and the divine has given you messages about this particular person. That's why you kept your space from this particular person. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's the end of this for him. It's the end. You know what I'm saying? Of this with this person. You don't want nothing to do with him. This person has an STD that's incurable. This person could be transitioning pretty soon. And you may get something in the mail um, giving you the, um, um, letting you know that this person has passed on. You know what I'm saying? Um, that this person has passed on. And by this person passing on, this is going to make you a privileged lady. You know, I don't know if this person stole something from from you or this person left you something or something. But uh, this person definitely is going to transition. You know, and um, this is the end of whatever he's doing, uh, trying to get in your life to, you know what I'm saying, to snake you. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be the end of this. He's going to perish from this incurable STD. 
You know what I'm saying? He need to go on and be with his makeup. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to lead you to prosperity and everything. You know, I don't know how, but it is. You know? But it is. Let's get a couple of messages out of my North Pole bag. I don't know why it's telling me to do this, but I listen to the divine. The divine tell me what to do, and I do it. You know what I'm saying? So let's get a couple out this North Pole bag. Trying to snake you, girl. Trying to snake you. Um trying to figure out um, how you work, how you're doing this occupation, you know what I'm saying, so they can go back and tell this damn church, you know what I'm saying, um, it's something that you do, something you do, you're a psychic or something, mystic, shaman, healer or something, um, it's your occupation and they're nosy about your work, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, they're nosy about your work, um, it's ridiculous, you know. Um, let's see here. This is a gang of people. These people are ganging up on you. Okay? They're ganging up on you. This church community is ganging up on you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because they are religious and you're a spiritual. But they don't, they don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't practice what they preach. What they practice is spirituality. What you practice, but you practice the lighter side, and these are dark. They practice the dark arts. Okay, these people are trying to gang up on you because you have the witch pussy. Okay, which means you have healing vagina, which means you have very potent uh, sacral chakra energy. Uh, that means you're very creative. You have a uh, manifestation um, energy, and anybody that you be intimate with. In that particular way, they're going to tap into their energy and they're going to be able to manifest and be abundant. You know what I'm saying? So anybody that attaches to you, I mean, you're the jackpot. You know what I'm saying? You're the leprechaun. You know what I'm saying? So that's why these people are ganging up on you. You know what I'm saying? Trying to sabotage you and exploit you and bring you down. And you need some help. You need help from these people. And you know who you got? You got your soul family, your ancestors, your spirit guides, and your angels. They are behind you. So don't worry about these people. You got the help. You know what I'm saying? You got the help. See, they don't think that you know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? But you know exactly what they're doing. And what did I say? They're going to have a new beginning, and they're taking their ass to jail. This whole damn gang is going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Going to jail. Now, you got somebody over there that's uh, urinating. You know what I'm saying? They're defecating on themselves. They have something going on with using the, the the bathroom. They could be over there in the pamper or something. You know what I'm saying? Can't hold their bowels. They sick. This person is sick. This STD is killing this person. And he thinks that if he has sex with you, that you will heal him because you have healing vagina, which you do. You know what I'm saying? And this person over there is incontinent. That means this person is 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 peeing everywhere dookie in everywhere and can't hold that you know what I'm saying I mean this this uh, STD has really uh, taken effect on them and they want to have sex with you so that you can heal them <laughs> and you need help that's why these people are ganging up on you trying to come around you because they want you to heal this pastor when they know he ain't about nothing when they know he ain't about nothing you could be having doing uh, your job you could be uh, if you um a psychic or a mystic or something, a healer or a shaman, you could be a reader. You know, you could be a spiritual advisor. But whatever you're doing, your videos are going viral. And you're, going, you're, you're telling people about these false-ass prophets in the church. Hell, you could be me. You know what I'm saying? And you need some help. But, you know, you got, you got help. You, you got help. You got your ancestors, your spirit guides, and your angels. You got your taser. You got your mace. You got your gat. You got your shank. You got your axe. You got everything. And I'm not an advocate for violence, but I'm an advocate for protection. So you got help. And you got your people with her. So buck if you want to. Nuck if you buck. You hear what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? Yeah, these masons, Eastern stores and masons, and they ain't watching you. Mm -hmm. these, these people in the church and the dude in the head church he walking around with a diaper with his nasty stanky ass you know what I'm saying burning you know what I'm saying and this disease have took effect and he think he gonna bring his stanky itchy booty ass over there and have sex with you to cure himself man dude uh, let me tell you something you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying so you know divine feminine you don't need no new friends you don't need nobody trying to get in your life and especially don't, don't, don't deal with nobody from your past 
that you done walked away from. Keep on walking. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a mole. He's an agent. He's a snitch. He's an undercover agent. He's a spy. You know what I'm saying? And he's a lousy, stanky bastard. You hear what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? Well, this is the message that I have for Medusa for you guys today. If you feel anybody could benefit from this video, please share the consciousness, share the awareness, because we're sick of these damn secret societies, these Masons and these Eastern stores pretending to be um, giving an image in the public like they holy and thou, but they going to their cauldron behind the scene. You know what I'm saying? Dark people, dark people arts you know what i'm saying false prophets and he can't even uh, he, can, he can't even hold his bowels you know what i'm saying what you doing you know what i'm saying they be on the down low you know what i'm saying i used to work in an emergency room at two hospitals and i done seen plenty of men that done got up in age and um they muscles in their uh rectum is is don't work you know what I'm saying? And they have to have a colostomy bag or they have to be walking around in pampers because they done messed their rectum up from so much anal sex. You know what I'm saying? So don't tell me. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's happening with this person with his weak ass in the church. Talking about some hallelujah sister. And he behind the scene bent over. You know what I'm saying? And been bent over so much that his, his muscles in his ass don't work. But these are the people that run the church, these false prophets trying to get in my divine feminine's life uh, to ruin her because she's speaking the truth about the ass. Keep your protection of divine feminine because these people are down and dirty and you got to get down and dirty with them. You feel me? You feel me? I love y'all. And I'll see y'all on the next Medusa's message. Y'all be easy. Be safe, okay? Bye-bye.